the star of the show is on the program. Another time, another place. With Ivan Martin on U105. And always good to have Les McKeown on U105. Morning, Les. Good morning to you, Ivan. And uh, I gather you've been listening to us this morning. You're able to do that now, of course. Yeah, with... I've been sneaking a wee listen. I uh, looked it up on the interwebby thing. All oh, right, yeah, we're going to, it's amazing technology. But anyway, uh, amazing that the Bay City rollers roll on and on. And Les McKeown, according to my mailbox this morning, still as popular as ever. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it too much, I think. I'm really in a good place these days. Everybody loves the gigs. I've got a new record coming out this year, produced by some hit uh, song producers in Scotland. Right. Um, John uh, and uh, Judd, they, they do songs for, they've written songs for people like Westlife and uh, and at the moment I think they're doing McBusted. Right, okay. And now they're doing the rollers, which probably is for them a labour of love because they probably grew uh, up with all that. Uh, yeah, John is completely mad on the basic rollers. Uh, it, we're the reason he started in the music business, so... He was over the moon to for me to reach out and meet up with him, and we we become really nice friends. Yeah, well that's good. I mean, I was talking to somebody yesterday. I was out and about, and somebody stopped me and said, "I heard Jerry Lang saying on the radio that you got Les McKeown on tomorrow." And I said, "Yeah, I have." And they said to me, "He was in the Bay City Rollers, you know." I said, "I know that." Yeah. He said. They were the one direction of their day. And I said, well, yeah, they were, because I remember Roller Mania when they first came to Belfast, and uh, they had to be taken to the theatre in the back of a covered van, because such, such was the excitement outside uh, that we, we yeah. had to send a limo over to the front door of the theatre. Everybody ran to the limo. We shot round the back and got you into the theatre. And yeah. uh, I mean, it was just mania, wasn't it? It was great. I remember that smelly van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a, a vegetable van or something. But, uh, yeah, we still had to pay for the uh, limousine, though, even though it was empty. <laughs> yeah, but so that was the way it was then, wasn't it, Les? Of course, yeah. You've, you've learned a lot of lessons. I have. <laughs> and uh, it's good to hear you today and saying you're in such a good place. And you're, you're touring the world. Tell us a bit of that. Well, we did uh, Japan. We popped over to Japan to do a one-off gig, a special gig for them over there for the fan club. Uh, we're going back in January. We've got um, a, a little Canadian tour coming up early next month. Uh, I'm going over to the USA to a, another roller fest type event to do a little bit of singing there. Hi. Then we've got a big tour, including uh, Olive Island. It starts on September the 1st, and it's about 75 days all the way through to Christmas Day sort of thing. Wow. So uh, a busy, busy boy. Aye. But sure you would have had no other way, wouldn't you? I wouldn't, no, I think, I think I'm not the kind, I don't have the kind of personality that uh, gets on well with nothing to do, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, you don't. I mean, I never see you sort of sitting down with the, the slippers and the Sunday papers saying, oh, this is great. You want to be saying, I'll better read this paper because I've got to go to a gig. <laughs> is the thing. Well, tell me this. Um, we know you're busy, we're delighted you are, and everybody looking forward to Glenarm Castle on Saturday the 18th of July. Uh, that's going to be a great gig, and uh, you're well used to doing outdoor ones, so that's going to be something. But um, if we could move now to the song you've chosen this morning, uh, what is it and why did you choose it? Well, it's one of my favourite songs of all time, uh, the song that you're going to play. Um, we... The basic rollers used to have a TV show called Shanga Lang, and we did a cover of this on a couple of those Shanga Lang shows. But the guys never wanted to release it as a single, even though I thought it would definitely be a number one because it's just a great song. Yeah, it's called Have I the Right, and this version is by the Honeycombs. Yeah, you might think of releasing that sometime in the future because I think you could be right about the number one. Les, lovely to talk to you. Look forward to seeing you at the Dalriada Festival, 
and uh, continued success. And thanks for coming on. All right. And all the all the best to you and all your listeners. Okay, Les. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye. Honeycombs and Have I the Right, and speaking to Les there, he's telling me that uh, the Rollers are going to do their own version of that at the gig at the Dalriada Festival, Saturday the 18th of July. Keeping the music rolling. Thanks. 